the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Uh, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. We out here at Davis Place out in Oakdale, Connecticut. We're about to go in and uh, do a food review here. Uh, I've had their food one other time before. It was absolutely amazing, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so I just got a chicken gyro. I ordered some chicken tenders They're over there. I got some mozzarella sticks. These look like the mozzarella sticks I used to get at Fred Shanty, which new owners took over, so they don't get the same mozzarella sticks, not the same quality, uh, which is too bad. But um, the first time I came here and I got the chicken gyro, I was amazed at this spicy relish like i didn't know such a thing existed but um i got some more food off off camera right now but i am most excited about the mozzarella sticks but i do want to show you what the inside of this gyro looks like i'm afraid it's i don't think it's gonna really put a dent in my appetite but we'll see i asked for no tzatziki sauce so that's what it looks like i'm struggling to hold it because it's really hot all this food just came out so i'm gonna give it a second to cool down but while i'm waiting for that i'm gonna tear into these mozzarella sticks look at that watch out bruce lee These mozzarella sticks are amazing. And you can tell these are the good ones because these got all the little hints of flavor in the breading. I already knew once they put these on the plate, I was like, these are going to be amazing. But I couldn't ask for a, a better day because it is beautiful out here. It's kind of hot in the sun. But it's really good. So complimenting this meal today. I got a lemon snapple. Not a sponsor. Could be though. Um trying to get that taste of coffee out of my mouth, but man, I miss these mozzarella sticks. Uh, like these mozzarella sticks you could do kung fu with so again this relish I like relish but I did not know spicy relish existed. Like, I really did. I don't know if they make it here. Somebody let me know down in the comment section if you could buy this stuff in store. But, first time I had this, I was kind of upset that I didn't discover it earlier in life. So, we're gonna go ahead and I should have got a spoon, but it is what it is. So this is the chicken gyro. Um, oh. So good. So good. And this is a chicken tender. Dab that in my spicy relish.
Oh, the spicy relish is so good. Now, when I tell you that this spicy relish got some heat to it, but it is also really, really good. Like, I'd say even if you don't like it, you should definitely try that. I got ants crawling up my pants. I can feel it. Even though I don't got no pants on. I'm in shorts. <laughs> But what's really cool about this place is that it's actually across the street from a steam exhibit like museum there's a like a really antique museum uh or a steam engine museum i should say and then they have like a antique museum that the stuff isn't like for sale so they got like old school typewriters they got a webster dictionary that's like thicker than my head like vertical wise they got a bunch of cool stuff so if you guys are ever in the area check it out that's that's a really cool place to go to oh and then uh they actually have uh another uh they, so they have a another antique shop where you can go and buy stuff bunch of old like Revolutionary War, you know, dated stuff, you know, guns, swords, knives. Um, they got comic books, they got, you name them. They also have Nature's Art Village, where they have like gemstones and all types of cool stuff. They got stuff for jewelry making, they got stuff for uh, music making, they got discover like a little kid's discovery zone where they got like all types of gizmos, gadgets, and like scientific stuff. It's really cool. I like it in there. My place to beer. These chicken tenders. Uh. So. I've had a lemon snapple in so long. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff out the way so you guys can see. Got some uh, chicken down there. It's not really big pieces. They're pretty small, but uh, this pita bread is nice and fluffy. That's all chicken juice and flavor. And now it's just uh, some spicy relish. I'm still working into trying to get into the chicken right now. Oh man, look at that. I should do a time lapse for you. Three days later. Now, I don't really know the history of gyros or gyros or however people pronounce it. Or gyros. I don't know if they're traditionally made with lettuce and tomato or cabbage. But this is good either way. I, I, I actually prefer it with cabbage. Um, 
because I feel like cabbage has more crunch to it and that just brings it all in. But either way is good. That spicy relish is really making like all the flavor pop. Oh, this is so good. Look at that, still dripping. And I could tell this is from the chicken because you can see all of like the oil with like that grease and it's not just juice from the relish. Oops. <laughs> I try to give y'all some, y'all too slow. I don't know what to tell you. It's still hot. I'd say the one bad thing about this this dish, the gyro, is that it's so short lived because it's so it's so small, but it's like oh, it's so freaking good. Oh. first time I had the spicy relish I want to take some home and I think the reason why I chose not to get tzatziki sauce on it today was because I think last time the tzatziki sauce kind of like it was like too much of a good thing where I think they put too much on it or something like that and that's I think that's what prompted me to ask for no tzatziki sauce <laughs> Because that's like sometimes you could ruin a sandwich with like too much of a condiment, like mayonnaise or something. And it's like then it's like, Ugh. and like every bite is just mayonnaise just spewing into your mouth, and it's like it's not that good. I like I like it simple, and I like it even though adding spicy relish com adds a complexity to it. It's a really good complement and complexity. Almost spicy enough to make my nose start running. Try to get this relish. So good. If I didn't have a beard, I would slurp this right off the plate. But like that. That is definitely worth it. I think the chicken gyro is probably about eight bucks. Worth it in my opinion, but you gotta get the spicy relish. If you're gonna do tzatziki sauce, go light on it. Those mozzarella sticks, amazing. Best mozzarella sticks, hands down. It makes me want to ask who their supplier is, because those, you guys saw that. But yeah, if you guys like this episode of Friday's Feast, make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Check out the link down below for our Etsy page where we sell our merch. You get company hats. You could get stickers. You can get um, hat shirts, stickers, uh, press pennies. 
um, and we're still doing our back to school fundraiser so if you want to help support that every sticker you buy on the Yeti page every sticker you buy on the Yeti page for five bucks 100% of the of the proceeds goes to buying back to school supplies for the children that need it for this upcoming school year we're trying to raise 1500 so please every dollar counts um you can also support by um hitting that super thanks button and donating on there 100 percent of the contributions from there will go to the back to school supplies from now until i forgot what the original date was but i think we decided like the second friday in august or something like that or like the second weekend in august i don't remember an exact date but um please if you guys want to you guys want to help support the cause anything is anything is appreciated and anything helps so but until next time guys i do appreciate you guys watching i love you guys be good be safe and i'll see you guys on the next one later i had to do it homemade rice pudding we're about to give this a try i like rice pudding i like ice cream i'm not really in the mood for ice cream right now so i figured i'd try the rice pudding the sign says homemade so we'll give it a shot i want to get past the cinnamon first mm, mix it in Cause I like rice pudding more than I like bread pudding. But uh, even though like tapioca almost has a similar consistency, I don't know. I don't really like those uh, little pearls. I don't. I can't do it. Rice pudding is like my go-to. My uh, stepfather's mom used to make homemade rice pudding, and that was amazing. I'm still trying to get through all that cinnamon because all I taste is cinnamon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's creamy. The rice is nice and soft. Simple, but yet delicious. You know what the worst part about tapioca is? Boba tea. That is gross. <laughs> See, unlike rice pudding, the tapioca pearls in boba tea, I don't know how anybody drinks that. Like the tea is good, but those tapioca pearls, I am so good. Simple, but yet very delicious.
I shouldn't even be eating this because I'm lactose intolerant and it's a hot day, but I'm going home after this, so I think I'm about to, about to meet my maker. <laughs> Got a couple tougher greens in that in that bite, but still good. All right, so I'm finishing this up. Got that little bit, and this definitely wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Ugh. Later.